Talking about mourning and burial, people often ask, does Judaism believe in the afterlife? They say that somebody once asked this question to one of the Rebbe's, who answered that we believe in the higher life. We believe that the soul is everlasting and lives on, and actually goes to a higher place after its passing. During its lifetime, the soul is confined to the physical body, only able to see things through a lens of materialism. However, however after one's passing, they go back to a divine place where they see every, they see the divine in everything, they see the truth in everything, and they, they also see how they could have done things better during their lifetime. At the same time, we know that the greatest purpose what Hashem really wants from us is to do mitzvahs down here in the world and transform the physical world. This is only possible when the soul is in the body. For this reason, when a person passes away, there is great gr grief and pain because they are no longer able to fulfill their purpose. At the same time, the children of the deceased and those who had inspired, those who are connected with it, are able to do mitzvahs in their memory. Doing a mitzvah in, so in someone's memory, saying Kaddish, where it's sanctifying God's name, giving charity, doing any other mitzvah is not just a nice way of remembering them and honoring them, but it's actually a way of helping them live on. So when we do a mitzvah in somebody's memory, we are doing what they cannot do. We are being their hands and feet to do a mitzvah in the world on their behalf, where they are unable to do a mitzvah in the place that they are right now. For this reason, it brings the greatest joy and immense nachas to the soul of the deceased when we do a mitzvah in their memory. Today's mitzvah is once again that the sons of Aaron, the priests, the Kohens, are not to come in contact with the corpse, become richly impure. Thank you for watching.